Today on Fly Rod Chronicles, I meet up with my friend and guide Craig Boslow at the Home Waters in Spruce Creek, Pennsylvania to try our luck on the Little J in legendary Spruce Creek. Join us as we catch some colorful Juniata Browns as well as a few healthy rainbows and test our skills on the Lefty Cray casting course. Stick around. We're on Little River, and right there is what she's about, boys. Am I happy? Look at that! Welcome to Alaska! Woo look at that! There he goes, there he goes, Steve! Look at that, baby! Yeah! That's bigger than Dollywood! That is incredible, isn't it? Hey, I'm Curtis Fleming. Come along on my journey as I pursue my lifetime passion for the art of fly fishing. Join my friends, special guests, and I as we explore waters both far away and close to home. These are my Fly Rod Chronicles. Craig Boslow is my friend and guide who grew up fly fishing the legendary trout waters of Pennsylvania, including the Little Juniata and Spruce Creek. He has a wealth of knowledge about these incredible fisheries. I hooked up with Craig at the home waters in the town of Spruce Creek at the confluence of the Little J and Spruce Creek to fish for browns and rainbows. What we got here is the natural. Golden Stone, two-year nymph. That's uh, a, a nymph that's in the water full-time, resident nymph. So the fish have access to them all the time. It's a nymph that you can fish uh, pretty much year-round and, and catch fish on. Mm -hmm. They will hatch every couple of years. So you can see that's a pretty good-sized bug. That's a great meal. And the adult is uh, even bigger. Mm -hmm. And so the fish can get a pretty good, pretty good feeding when they eat these. So if you went to the vise and, and tied that particular bug, what would you tie right there? Well, there's a couple of different ways you can tie it. Some guys will, will tie a woven stone fly mm -hmm. and they weave it uh, for the, the rear segment. Uh, some guys will uh, just tie them with normal dubbing. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's mm -hmm. this thin skin that almost simulates exactly Mm -hmm. what those casings look like on the backhand side. There's guys that tie them that look almost exactly like the fly. You can see them yeah. in some of the magazines uh, that uh, people get pretty creative with them. But anything that's golden yeah. and decent size for the non-entomologists like okay. me yeah. and you yeah. <laughs> uh, work pretty well. They get down in the bottom of the river and fish see them and they, yeah. they get pretty aggressive with them when they're eating them. Yes, I've seen the, see there's a tan cat that just yeah. came off right there. Yeah. We're relying on you, Craig. Hey, last year you treated us right. All right, well, so, we think we can uh, get you on some fish today. Doesn't appear to be a whole lot going on on the surface, so we're gonna start off nipping. Okay. And we showed you the golden stone yep. that was picked out of the creek yesterday. Mm -hmm. See the patterns here to match it, so let's get in the fly box. We'll uh, go with a golden stone on top, and then mm -hmm. we'll trail it. We saw some sulfur nymphs uh, as well, so we'll trail with the sulfur nymph and see if we can't get some fish on. Okay. And then we'll uh, wait for the fish to rise to go to the dries, but I think we're, we'll be in good shape. All right, so you, you saw my cast one time and you're already taking my rod and you said, right. Curtis, I watch your show. I need, I, I need to do your tip of the day. You right. got to learn this technique and you call it high sticking. Right. This is uh, central Pennsylvania high sticking. I mean, okay. it's not strictly limited to central Pennsylvania, but I found as a guide to get the best drift. Yep. Uh, when you high stick, it allows you to spend, suspend those flies and make them look a little bit more naturally. So you're going to secure the fly line with your index finger here. All you're going to do is just pronate your hand up this way, high stick like this. You can see how all we got on the line on the water right now is is the, is the uh, indicator. Right. So again, pinch that index finger, thumb down, right over the top. Wait for that thing to twitch. Yep. Stop. Get to the bottom. Yep. Set. All right. Tip of the day, high sticking. All right, there's our Pennsylvania tip of the day with Craig Boslow. I think I lost my rod, but it is tip of the day, so I think everyone gets the picture of, it's got a big word in there. What's, Steve, what's it mean to prone out? Pro, pro what? Pronate. Pronate, okay. Explain that to me later, but I, I think I know what he means. <laughs> I, my mom used to give me that juice when I was a kid. 
Welcome back to Fly Rod Chronicles in legendary Spruce Creek, Pennsylvania. I tried out my new high stick method. There he goes. Hey, we got us another. Hey. <laughs> Is that a brown trout? Yeah, it's brown trout. So that's a Juniata brown trout, huh? Yeah, a little Juniata brown trout. All right. Oh, wow. See the beautiful red spot. See the red on the adipose? Right yeah, there? yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, very cool. All right, man. <laughs> Thank you, That's brother. good, yeah. Thank you. So he took that beadhead uh, hair's ear flashback. So let's huh? see if we can't get us a couple more fish. Okay. Let's do it. There he goes. There he goes. Holy oh, smoke. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm smiling now. Yeah, now we're smiling. You yeah. know, out, out at the, oh man, out in Oregon, you know I was diagnosed as a manic fisherman. <laughs> Is that right? Seriously. <laughs> when, I, when I'm not catching fish, man, I, I need to be on Dr. Phil's couch. Now look at, look at the colors on this fish oh, as man. well. I mean, it's a gorgeous fish and even the pink inside his mouth. Oh. Yeah. Look at the colors on that fish. Oh man. They're like in that bead head. See the blue yeah. there in the fin? Can you catch that blue? Got the white there in the tips. Oh yeah. That's just beautiful. Good fish. Nice job, buddy. Alright, I'm here with Donnie Beaver at Spring Ridge Club. Donnie, pleasure to meet you. Curtis, it's great to have you. Well, thank Good you. to finally meet you after we've been uh, connected up through so many people through the years. I was thinking about the circle. I feel like we kind of know each other um, before we've actually it, physically yeah, met. Yeah, yeah. When Larry first called me and then Boz calls and says, you got to get together with Curtis, it's like, ah. gee, many Christmas. So there's two guys in the world that I love. It's those two guys. Oh, so. that's so cool. Yeah. Well, well, thanks for having us down sure. to Spring Ridge Club. Um, speaking of, of Spring Ridge, can you tell us just a little bit about the property you have here right. in, in Pennsylvania on, on the, the Little J? Sure. This was a family farm for 100 years. Uh, actually, it was homesteaded back in 1754. Yep. And um, William Penn's family actually gave the original deed to this property. And uh, it's, it was in the same family for about 100 years before we be, got involved mm -hmm. and helped them manage the fishery here. And then eventually, as the family matured and decided to move on, uh, they gave us the opportunity to buy the property. You were one of the first ones to donate and give to Project Healing Waters. Right. And, you know, we're, we, Project Healing Waters is very close and dear to our heart. Right. And thank you very much for what you do for them. It's such a great work. You know, to, to me, I never served in the military. My boys uh, grew up in an era here where, where they didn't serve. Uh, my dad did. My grandparents did. Yeah. Um, but to see um, in an uncertain world, Right. with a very uncertain balance of how the power is to see guys just be willing to go in harm's way on our behalf to protect our freedoms I and mean, how can you not yeah. be in love with something like yeah. that so yeah super well you, well you said it all right there and uh, and i feel honored that you had fly rod chronicles down here and i know we're getting ready to do some really cool things here in the future yeah yeah, yeah. i'm looking forward to that okay donnie thank all you very right. much You're for welcome. having us thanks mm -hmm. hey this is the infamous barn flat you can see we're at the tail of a long pool uh, the reason it's called the Barn Flat is the old SB farm, which this is, which Donnie Beaver purchased uh, several years ago as part of the Spring Ridge Club. Uh, just has lots of aquatic life and, and lots of fish, and it's shallow enough, and there's good canopy on the side there, so when the terrestrials get on midsummer, late summer, it's always fish rise, and as you know, the shade's going to keep the water in a freestone limestone stream a little bit cooler. Yeah. Let's see if we can't make it happen. I learned more in one day out on the water with Craig than I did in all four years of high school. And maybe college too. There he's got it. Oh, oh pulled it right out of his mouth. That's a good fish. That was a big one. Oh, man. That's what yeah. he's eating. And, and, and I'll go ahead and just tell you, I mean, that fish ain't biting again. I, I, I got the whole... You I got, got him. You judging? Yeah, I got the TFO bend and everything. That was a good one there. So right there is a prime example of keep trying. I mean, that, that's our third dry. Yep. But that's what he's eating. That's what he's eating. And that was big fish. <clears throat> it's all right.
You know, Donnie, we've been uh, honored to, to meet Lefty Cray, right. and, and, and he's been a good friend to us, and uh, he makes fun of my casting me all too. the time. Me too, me <laughs> too. Does he just make fun of everyone? Um, everyone that's not as good as he is, which is everyone. <laughs> that, that's exactly right. Well, I know he's got a little personal touch down here right. with you guys. And right. Can you tell me a little bit about his, his casting course? And, yep. And, and, yep. Well, the, we call it the Lefty Cray Fly Fishing Challenge course. And apparently, in the 60s, Lefty was working for Fenwick Rod Company. Mm -hmm. You had a Fenwick rod growing up, so did it was I. was my first rod. And, um, um, and and the Fenwick Company was sort of the original rage of, of composite yeah. fiberglass at first, yeah. uh, way ahead of all the technology at the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, Lefty was called in from them uh, in, in the 60s to uh, design a casting challenge course in a little town, believe it or not, called Fenwick, Montana, just outside of Yellowstone Park. Yeah. Uh, Fenwick apparently had some pool, got a post office there, got their own zip code, <laughs> and named the town after the rod company. And the idea was great. But the, uh, um, so he designed this challenge course, and then they realized that most people came to Montana didn't want to be on a fly fishing challenge course. They wanted to be fishing, uh, and and so they scrapped it. Lefty kept the ideas in the back of his brain for decades, and over the last five years, he keeps every time we're together, we're together. Uh, I don't know, eight, ten times a year. Right. And every time we're together. Lefty's talking about this challenge course. And I said, is this just in your mind or what? Mm -hmm. and, and Lefty said, I'd love to, to have it become a reality. And I said, let's do it. Wow. So last fall, we laid out the challenge course, which has nine stations on the land, uh, three of them around a the pond, uh, six of them in, in the grass with different targets, and then three on the water with basically every challenge you're going to run into from standing on a rickety boat uh, trying to fish, uh, cast a moving bonefish, mm -hmm. to, uh, to learning how to cast into a mangrove uh, uh, area, uh, get your line underneath stuff, through stuff, around stuff, um, double haul, it's got everything. Wow. And so what, really what we want to do with it is we, we inaugurate it with our um, clients here at the club mm -hmm. in, in May and again in June. And then after June, we're opening it up to the general public as, oh, wow. as, a, as a great place to learn. Lefty's coming out probably four more times this year uh, just to conduct the class. But he certified a couple of people on the planet. Kathy Beck, oh, yeah. who's a dear yeah. friend of the club. Yeah, yeah. She's been a member of the club since we founded yeah. it. And, and, uh, and a guy named Tom Ferentz. Tom mm -hmm. used to be with Frog Hair. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and Tom works for us full time now. Wow. So there, there are two of three people on the planet blessed by Lefty to do exactly what his principles teach. And so Kathy and Lefty are coming down, nice. literally. Uh, Lefty's um, uh, gonna be with Kathy in June, and then Tom's here every week. That's so, neat. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty uh, cool thing. Well, that's neat. Well, I just heard a rumor that Lefty's been over at the post office trying to get the town of Spruce Creek to, to call this Leftyville. That he's trying to get, <laughs> you know, he was, he was, he was, he was, you know, really, really uh, honored about the Fenwick name out, out yeah. in Montana. So he he wants to try to get this place called Lefty. You know, my guess is he could pull that off. If there's anyone could do it, it could be Lefty Cray. Amen. <laughs> Here. There. Oh, he wants it so bad. He wants it so bad. Oh. Look here. There. Oh, he wants it so bad. He wants it so bad. Oh. Oh. He's got it. He's got, got it. Yeah. Yeah. He does got it. Yeah. Woo. Oh, look at it. <laughs> nice cast. Man, sweet. Nice. Nice. Yeah, go he just like look like you got him right on the top of the mouth. Yeah, right but he just come him. up real slow. I yeah, mean, real subtle strike. Yeah, go nice on. job, Curtis. Good casting. That's that is that's what it's about right there, yeah, that's buddy. That's a good cast. Look at that. You got him right on the tip of the. Uh, nice. Yes, sir. I think you got it figured out, Mr. Craig. Nice job. Come on, fishy buddy. Every once in a while, I let my guides catch a fish, especially the ones that guide me for free on their day off. What do you got on there? Got a little Pennsylvania brown trout. <laughs> <laughs> now, wait a minute here. Hey, now mine was bigger than that, you know. It was bigger. 
Huh? You'd be my guy, but you know what? That's our future right there. That is your future. That's a great which point. Which is uh, what's important here, fishing a little bit shallower water. Yeah. See just a beautiful oh, wow. stream bred uh, wild brown trout. Okay, so um, let me see. Arithmetic, metric system. You catch 13 more of them and you equal mine. That's about right. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the way it's supposed to work. That's a good job, The guests man. catch the bigger fish. <laughs> Hey, Craig, thanks for the introduction to Spring Ridge Pub. Yeah, sure. Pretty cool. Uh, I understand you, know, you and Donnie go way back. and uh... Yeah, Donnie and I go way back when Donnie first uh, started Spring Ridge Club. Yeah. Bought Dave McMullen's property. Dave was a friend of mine. Uh, six, he had Six Springs Fly Shop, and Donnie bought that, and that was kind of his first owned water. And then the water that we're fishing now was the old Espy property, and Donnie was able to purchase that and really put together a club of uh, fly fishing that was a legacy club that allowed people to be able to fish waters that were protected, managed well, and you know, it's got something special going on. Yeah. You know, fly fishermen, are, they, hey, we're, we're critics by nature. That's right. And it's easy, but you know what? It seems like no matter who you, who you meet, though, everyone ha has the heart and the passion to do the right thing in fly fishing. And you know, Donnie's done something that's really extraordinary. I mean, unbelievable what he's done with managing properties and, and the preservation of, of future fishing. Yeah, and for the folks who don't know Donnie, he's a very generous guy. Yeah. You know, and, and just Project Healing Waters. I think yeah. he was the first guy to really give up water for the Project Healing Waters folks to fish on. Right. He does it on an annual basis. I know you're uh, actively involved in that yeah. and, a, and a big supporter, as am I. Yeah. But anytime you get into land disputes and people uh, want to fish where there's bigger fish, there's right. plenty, plenty of miles of stream out there. And, and Donnie's had some, some critics, unfortunately, but yeah. you know, knowing him personally, he really is a good hearted fella. Yeah. Uh, and you know he's done a good job, and the folks that are around him to help manage the waters uh, do great with stream preservation and yeah. management of that. It creates pretty, pretty special fisheries. There he's got it. No, oh, jeez, that was a good one. Yeah, pretty cool. Huh? He come up and hit the top one. Yeah, he did. And what was that top fly? Adams. Adams. Because there's some ice and Nikki coming off. Oh, jeez, a whiz. That's double. That's it. That's a crazy wild. Wild trout right Yes, there. sir. That's crazy. Steve, how's that look? That's so cool. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. He said, see ya. Oh, one turn right. He's got it. There he is. Hey. Whoa. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, nice yes. one. Man, oh, man. Good you cast. Know what? It. Seriously. I don't give myself credit or anything. I that went to was a set great the hook. cast. I went to set the hook on that thing, yep. and I couldn't up, so I had to under. I don't know what you call it, but I better land this fish. Oh! Nice cast. That's that a beautiful series. cast. Nice job. Dag, go on, man. So he took the dropper. He did. Lordy, Lord. He oh, shut right out after man, that. Nice smoke. I'll tell you. Look at this. This is Pennsylvania and it's fine yes, right sir. here, isn't it? I mean, tight casting. You had all kind of canopy. Oh, man. Get him over here in the shallows, Curtis, and we'll get him landed. So you're complimenting me? Oh, that was sweet. I mean, that, that may have been your best cast and take since we've been here. Well, hey. Part, I mean, because you fished a tight bank, you came out from underneath the canopy. This is a wild rainbow trout. And if you look at it, you can clearly see the markings oh, yeah. on it once we get him. Uh, well, I just looked at my rod on this trip. Yep. Because I've, I've got a castometer on it. Yeah. That was 7,497 <laughs> casts. All right. So I made one good cast. That's huh? why we call it fishing and not catching. And oh. that, was, that was well done. Oh, man. He took it. And oh, man. Show Steve that fish. Steve, well, did you see that fish right there? You see that fish, right fish Steve? Steve, you're supposed to go, ah, uh, <laughs> slow motion. Can you do that? Uh, <laughs> As you can tell, hey, this has been incredible. We're all about half crazy yeah, full fish it. down here. Place is incredible. 
I know again, hey, Donnie Beaver, home waters. Yeah, home waters. Yeah. Got to figure it out, Donnie. Yeah. Good, great fish management. You know, nice mix, of rainbows and browns, good size difference. So, good fishing. I really did make one good cast. Oh, we made lots of good casts, but that may have been your best cast in land right there because of the difficulty of getting access to it. You set the hook on the uh, dropper and made the catch. That's what it's about. Well, there it is then. Come back next week, catch us on Fly Rod Chronicles. All right, Donnie, down here at Spring Ridge Club, you know, I feel like, hey, we've become friends. Oh, yeah. And, and, and I enjoy it down here and everything. I was wondering maybe if I could come down and, and, and get like a free membership here. I... <sighs> nah, that's that's not possible. Okay. Well, what, I mean, could I come down and like, you know, bring my family and stay at the lodge? For... No, 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 I don't, I don't think so. Um, was it? This glint here behind me, yeah, you know, I wouldn't be bothering anyone. You think I could come down, bring a couple friends, and hang out here? <sighs> nah. I, I noticed the grass is growing. I mean, could I at least come down here and like cut your grass? And... Yeah, yeah, you could do that. All right. Man, what a man got to do to fish around here. I thought that Donnie Beaver kind of liked me. <laughs> Put me to work mowing these lefty. Cray casting, of course. I'm the Rodney Dangerfield of fly fishing. I get no respect. <laughs>